All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the River Rats. Today we're at local lake. Uh, we're gonna try some try some post spawn bass out. Uh, it's been decent at this lake lately. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab my stuff, but yeah, it's been decent at this lake lately. Uh, we've caught some big ones. We've lost some giants. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we can hopefully we can catch them here. I'll show you guys. So uh, it's gonna be a little tough filling from the banks. I don't know if angles will be the best, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. So bluegill bed here seems to be some fish on it. Um, I got one. Here we go. Little one, but still a fish. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Here we go. Like two pounder. It's not a bad one there. This little two pounder there on the good old stick worm. But uh, yeah, so what we've been mostly doing is we've been targeting bluegill beds, second wave. First wave's already done, so now we have the second wave of bluegill beds. Fish, I say, that have spawned, but we're just chucking this um, around the bluegill beds and hopefully we get some more bass like that. Hey guys, I'm not 100% sure if you can see this, but there's a bass, but eat my bait. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there's a bass, but eat my bait right now. Slowly coming at it. I got him. I got him. I freaking got him. I gotta put the camera down. 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 Okay. It's not too big. Nice, let's go. All right guys, well we just caught a decent one. Finally, the little school of my, I didn't get the big one though. The bigger one was probably four. This one's probably three and a quarter pounder. And uh, yeah, but nice fish that we're gonna release on this fish. Um, let's go lob him down there. There she goes. You guys, we're hooked up yet again, hooked up again. One could be a little better. Another one, dude. Frickin' another one. A stinking another one. Let's go, baby. This one has a bummy eye. Not quite sure what's wrong with that one, but he's got a bummy eye. See that? Another nice one. Let's go. All right, there we go. Another probably, this one's probably three pounds. A little bit smaller than the last one. We found a little school of them that we're willing to bite. So we're going to sit this one back. This one's got a bummy eye, which is interesting. So we're gonna get this guy back. Out of here. There he goes. Right back to where he came from. Let's go. On a big one too. It's a big one. On a new bait. I don't know how big, but it's big. Dude, it's a big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. On a new bait. On a brand new stinking bait. That's a big one, dude. Yes. 
sir. Yes, sir. Big one on a brand new bait. Pop this hook out for you. He's hooked nice. It's a Tokyo rig, so I could kind of experiment with this bait for some smallmouths, not for any largemouths yet. Basically, it's a Tokyo rig, it's the Nico hook, and it's essentially like a drop shot, and it's been working really well so far, as you can tell. So, right, guys, awesome. we just weighed her. She was 4.11. Oh, she's aggressive. So, yeah, that's freaking awesome. It's a big one. Absolute big one. On a new bait. Get one more look at her here. Freaking stud muffin. We're gonna send her on her way. Let's go. There she goes. Midnight update. It's actually been really good so far. Um, we're going to go to a new lake because I don't know. I just want to go try a new lake. Um, we caught four fish here, three three pounders, and one big one. That was 4.14. So um, pretty pumped about that. So uh, it's really hard to film from the bank too, so we're gonna get our boat out on this lake, other lake. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed so far. But uh, we'll catch you in the next lake. The new lake already got one on the good old frog. Now we're frogging some gnarly stuff today. But uh, yeah, we're at the new lake already got one on the frog. So hopefully we catch one. All right, guys, we're hooked up here on a pike. Oh, cheese. In the side of the lips. Oh, don't cut my line, please. Got him. Not very big. Not very big, but got the hook out. Nice one. About 20 incher, probably 22 incher. Not bad. Get him back. Not a bad surprise there. Thought it was a bass. It would have been, I was like, oh, it's a big bass, big bass. Nope, freaking pike. Got one. I think it's not a pike, but we'll see. Oh, it was not a pike. Gosh, dang, these tons of pike here. Hopefully we can get some bass. Let's get some bass. That one could be a bass. You've got to be kidding me. Seriously, you've got to be kidding me, dude. You've got to be kidding me. I just caught a bullhead on a Tokyo rig, a bullhead on a Tokyo rig. Dude, what? I just caught a freaking bullhead on a, dude, what is going on today? Just got another bite there. Fish on. It's a bass. Oh, second bass of the new lake. Or second bass of the other lake. Very sunny on this side, but nice little one pounder. But uh, yeah, kind of on a wacky rig, so. A little yum dinger to the face. But there is some giants here. I've caught three or four that have been over five pounds. I think four that have been over five pounds. And one was my PB that was over six, so. They definitely live in here. They're just hard to find. You catch kind of two pounders and all of a sudden you get a big bite and it's a Ooh, better one. Better bass. Oh yeah, a lot better bass. Oh, look at that one. Nice. Here we go. It's a little better. Nice. 
Look at that one. But anyways, but yeah, but you get, normally get a big one every few days to come here. That one's a skinny post spawner. But uh, yeah, nice bass there on the wacky rig. Pike here. Oh, it's a big pike. Oh, that was a big pike. Spit it. I'm sure you guys could hear that on camera. Oh, guys, got another bass. Smaller one, though. Clipped him in the tongue. There you go. Big something, dude. Big fish. Dude, big fish. Holy crap, big fish. Dude, it's a big fish. Oh, big pike. Dude, it's a big pike. Oh my goodness. Look at that one, dude. Holy. Oh, that's a big one right there. That's probably a 20, maybe 30 incher. Oh, that's a nice pike right there. It's a bass. Fighter. Oh, fighter. Oh, that was a chunk. Choked it, dude. Freaking choked it. Oh. There we go. Old bass. Old bass action going on. Got one. Got the bass, guys. Ow. Gosh, Dana. Tiny, it's a little flopper. There we go, guys. Possibly better. Oh, yeah, better. Oh, yeah, better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot better. A lot better, guys. Oh yeah, there we go. On a dock, on a gel. These fish in here are aggressive. There we go. There we go, guys. Nice one there on the Senko. Probably two pounder, two or so. Nice. Small little bass. Inside weed line. God, these fish are crazy. There we go. Guys, well, that's going to end today's episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll try to make some more vids for you guys here. We're really sorry that we've been hardcore slacking, but we're back and we're going to start making a lot more. So we got a tournament coming up on. 
next Monday. So I don't know if we'll film that or not, but we'll see how we're feeling. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I mean, it's just beautiful out, dead calm, awesome sun sunset, and uh, good day of bass. And caught some big ones at the other lake, but no big ones here, but lots of numbers. And uh, had an awesome time doing it. Lost few Sankos, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. But most fish they ever caught on the Sanko. And uh, I caught some on that Tokyo rig finesse Nico with a robo worm on it, fishing it like a drop shot. But yeah, it was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.